hello beautiful people in today's video i'll be sharing how i make this lumpy egusi soup with fresh bitter leaf and i'll be letting you know the tricks to use to achieve this and to also cook egusi soup with fresh bitter leaf without the soup being bitter okay so if you are coming across my video for the first time my name is benedicta and i welcome you to my channel to my returning subscribers i say a big thank you and if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly do so and hit the notification bell okay here are the list of the ingredients we need to make this soup okay we have goat meat already washed and grinded egusi crayfish onions titus fish bonbon of course pepper red oil locust beans and fresh bitter leaf okay kindly remember to give this video a thumbs up i have seasoned the goat meat with salt onion and seasoning cube and i allowed it to cook okay so the first trick to achieve a lumpy egusi soup is to add hot water to the blended egusi okay so since i have meat stock i choose to add the meat stock so i'll go ahead and add fish to this pot and cover to stay cook and to the grinded egusi that i've added meat stock i'll go ahead now and mix it but i'll add onions if you add onions to your egusi it the taste is always heavenly i added a bit of salt so i'll go ahead and mix this together thoroughly i'll mix it very very well okay if you want your egusi to be lumpy this is the first step you should take all right so the next thing now is to check on the on the meat is ready by this time I will remove the fish head so that it will not scatter inside the inside the pot. After that, I will add red oil. Crayfish, that's grinded crayfish, locust beans. This locust beans is a game changer. If you don't cook with locust beans, I think you should give it a try. Okay? So I'm adding pepper, so the next thing I'll add now is bomo, which is known as cow skin. You can see that the, the pot, the soup is boiling. So right now, the second trick is to cut this egusi inside the pot gradually. Can you see the way it's looking? You don't have to turn this just leave it like this cover it to cook very very well in this way your soup the egusi will come out lumping can you see the way it's looking i'm not still going to turn this very well i will just shake it by the side that's because i want to add bitter leaf at this junction okay so can you see the way you just mindfully turn it just gently okay and the reason why I'm doing this at this time is because I want to add fresh bitter leaf. You know, I told you I'm cooking with this fresh bitter leaf. And the trick to cook with bitter leaf and it will not bitter is to do it like this. Just cover it. Cover it to cook for like 10 to 15 minutes. I made a mistake. I did not see. I thought the video was recording, but I never knew it was not recording when I turned. The first time I turned the egusi. So at this time, it's just for you to give it a good mix this soup came out so nice and without the soup being bitter can you see how lumpy it is if you are still watching and you have not subscribed to my channel i encourage you to do so give this video a thumbs up okay and comment in the comment section if you have been using fresh egg, egg bitter leaf to make your soup this came out so delicious okay and everybody enjoyed it so if you have not been cooking with bitter leaf try it i love to cook with fresh bitter leaf and it's very very nice i'll see you in my next video bye